Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the latest news and updates on economic stimulus packages. I'm your host, Joseph, and today we have some exciting developments to share with you. But before we dive into today's updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update on all things stimulus-related. We're here to keep you informed and empowered during these challenging times. All right, let's jump right in. Now we embark on a journey through the riveting discourse presented by Representative Dina Titus. In a recent special order, Titus extends her appreciation to her colleague, Mr. Larson, the ranking member of the Social Security Subcommittee, for his relentless leadership on this crucial issue. She commends his efforts in organizing an important special order to shed light on the Democrats' commitment to safeguarding and expanding Social Security. Titus's passion is contagious as she dives into the numbers. A staggering 113,000 Nevadans in District 1, comprising Las Vegas and Henderson, relying on Social Security to make ends meet. According to Titus, Social Security is a shining example of the US government at its very best, marking it as one of the most successful programs in our nation's history. The urgency in her voice resonates as she emphasizes the importance of protecting this program for future generations. But hold on tight, because the plot thickens when Titus turns her attention to the Republicans. With an unwavering resolve, she unveils their continued threats to Social Security. Titus directly addresses Mr. Johnson, the new speaker, exposing his history as the former chair of the Republican Study Committee, where he consistently advocated for reducing Social Security benefits. The shock factor hits as Titus reveals that this year's Republican Study Committee budget proposes a mind-boggling 133% cut in benefits. Titus doesn't stop there. She dissects the Republican plan to raise the full retirement age to 69, a move that would undoubtedly translate into a cut in Social Security benefits. The stakes are high, as she argues that this measure would disproportionately harm low- and middle-income seniors, forcing them to toil longer for fewer benefits. And if that wasn't enough drama, Titus throws a spotlight on the Republicans' Labour HHS Appropriations Bill, a move that would slash Social Security funding by a whopping 30%. Brace yourselves this bill also spells the closure of 240 offices across the country, extending wait times for services. Titus passionately declares, We cannot let Republicans play games with your Social Security. A rallying cry, that reverberates through the hearts of viewers. Cue the hero of the story, Titus proudly stands as an original co-sponsor of Mr. Larson's bill. She urges viewers to join the cause, stressing the imperative need to bring the Social Security 2100 Act to the forefront, protecting and expanding Social Security. It's a call to action, a plea for support, and Titus is leading the charge. Now, Let's dissect the Republican plan a bit further. Titus alludes to a potential 13-14% cut in benefits by raising the full retirement age to 69. The logic behind this move is under scrutiny. Not everyone can work until 69, especially in physically demanding jobs. Titus lays bare the potential implications, questioning whether the minimum retirement age should also be raised from 62 to 65. It's a complex chessboard of policies and their far-reaching consequences. But wait, the excitement doesn't end there. It's time to unveil a personal story, a first-hand account of my experiences with Representative Dina Titus. Picture this, a late-night study session, an overworked brain, and a challenging political science test. Despite my usual prowess in the subject, I found myself in uncharted waters, struggling to articulate my thoughts on paper. Enter Titus, not just a politician, but also a compassionate educator. The narrative unfolds as Titus, who was a professor at the time, noticed my struggle during the test. 
To address these issues, the Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates to control the situation. When the economy faces severe contraction, the Federal Reserve steps in with their strategy known as quantitative easing. This involves injecting a significant amount of money into the economy, essentially what we refer to as a stimulus check. But before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and let's embark on this ride of economic revelations. Now, I understand that money is on everyone's mind, especially for those on a fixed income. Fear not, as I'm here to guide you through it. Currently, Congress is orchestrating various legislations, and it's imperative to keep a vigilant eye on all federal announcements. Speaking of potential stimulus checks, who could be included in the next round, what type of check it might be, and why the government would be dishing them out, are all burning questions we'll tackle right here. Representative Dina Titus emerges not only as a powerful advocate for social security reform, but also as a leader with a heart. Through her passionate discourse, she underscores the critical need to protect and expand social security, standing as a beacon against the Republicans' relentless threats. Thumbs up for Titus, and if you've enjoyed this ride, hit like, subscribe for more adrenaline-pumping content, and drop your questions in the comments below. Remember, your engagement fuels the excitement, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now, and as a parting note, while this Congress can't pass gas, it sure knows how to make a splash in the political arena. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos.